2.0, I'm Mohan. We warmly welcome you to State House. On our side, Mr. President, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of colleagues from State House in the advisory team. We also, we're also joined by the acting MD of uh, ZESCO, the chairman of ZSMIH, the IDC CEO, the chairman of, of ZESCO as well, the team from ZRA, as well as the Ministry of Finance, including the other. All right. And of course, we recognize the media all with us today. And like the media to take time out to also ask questions as well as we've done this program when we come out for the photos. Because there's so much information that's come out today. With that, Mr. President, I'd like to take this opportunity to hand over to the CEO of IRH, Mr. Ali Rashid Al Rashid, to begin his opening remarks, as well as to introduce members of his delegation. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Minister. It's a privilege to, to be here to discuss the operational update for the Mobile Copper Mine, a project that is vital not only to our rich but also to the economic uh, uh, landscape of uh, South Africa. As we share updates on our operation, I want to highlight our commitment to across uh, transparency, collaboration, and sustainable development. Our goal is to ensure that Mobile contributes meaningfully to the local economy while adhering to the highest environmental standards. Today we will uh, present the performance and outline our strategic vision moving forward. Your insights and support are critical as we strive to enhance productivity and create lasting developments for the community and the nation. Thank you once again for your time and partnership. I look forward to a fruitful discussion. Thank you, Mr. Arashti, and to you, if you allow me to uh, make mention or introduce members of the team. You have Mr. Ravi Sharma, who is the Chief Operating Officer at IRH. You have Mr. Sid Ali, who is the Chief Global Strategist at IRH. You have uh, Abile Kowala, Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Charles Sakanian, the CEO of Opani Mines. Gareth Taylor, Director of Operations of Opani Global Mines. Fijo Francis, Finance Director of IRH. Shashan Sharma, who will be gracing us, gracing us with a fantastic uh, transformational presentation of the technology that's being unveiled from the Bank of Mines, who's the head of technology at IRH. Tame Shudasta, who's the manager of MA, of course, Ryan, uh, head of communications 2.0 at IRH. Sharad Gage, our CEO for Mobile Bank of Mines. So that's just to acknowledge the team that's here. And at this point in time, during Mr. President, I'd like to call upon the Honourable Minister of Mines and Mr. Ovid to essentially put in his opening remarks and reactions to you. Thank you. Mr. President, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to the State House team and also the IRH team and Mopani and of course our members of the press. Your Excellency, I'm very excited <coughs> to have this meeting today. Um, having uh, the chance to interact with our colleagues uh, from my area of Mopani and uh, looking at what they've done to Mopani in terms of uh, the transformation program that we are implementing within Mopani. Uh, but the chance is a present to look at the numbers, to look at what they're doing, and uh, I'm excited as your minister to report to you that you will be excited with what you are going to see with all the efforts that you are putting as the leader of this nation to transform Mopan. The vision that you had, I think with what they are going to present in terms of uh, you know, the technology, what they have done to automate the mine, also what they have done in terms of employment to our people, how they are increasing productivity, the ramping up that is happening, is quite exciting. So I will not preempt what they are supposed to present to you. I want you to be pleasantly surprised as to what they've done to this mine in the short space of time that they've been here. But before they do that, maybe I'll call upon your son so that you give your opening remarks and we'll go into that bit. Minister, thank you very much, and to my colleagues also uh, from uh, the various industries, departments, in those who have been quasi academic institutions that are relevant to what we are 
discussing here today. We will just to stay in my head so I can see. But more importantly, to our visitors, actually, to our friends, to our visitors, our friends, our partners, uh, very, very important to, to us to welcome you here to have a shape, to straight house and our uh, colleague who we used to touch a little bit with um, in the negotiation, uh, during the negotiation period, and uh, 2.0. Mobile leadership management and other colleagues here. Truly welcome again uh, to stay with us. It's a pleasure to have you uh, here. And uh, you share the vision with us at the time of negotiations. First meeting, then negotiations. And we are happy today to be sitting here to listen to what you've done so far with the assets, with the business. So we look forward to that presentation. We also want to indicate um, who we hear from you, we listen to you, to indicate our appreciation of um, the leadership of UAE, Abu Dhabi and UAE, uh, Sheikh Mohammed Ben Zayed, our man, for the leadership that is provided to uh, Abu Dhabi and UAE. It's very important and uh, it's Say to this gentleman a number of times that we are admiring the progress that that country has made over the years, and we want to learn in certain threads, in bits of it, so that we can uh, deal with our own situation here, you know, our challenges here, and uh, take the Zambia to where it should be. So we appreciate that leadership. We also want to appreciate the chairman of IFC. Um, um, so we are very, very uh, also appreciative of um, the CEO um, and indeed the Mopani team. But I must also say that uh, the negotiation team that uh, uh, we dealt with was uh, impressive at the time, and that's why we made the decision. So we want to appreciate them as well. Some are not in this room. But uh, looking back, we appreciate uh, what we were able to do. Uh, yes, we want to hear the story today if I return to business. And uh, where support is needed, uh, we will render that support because we want this business to succeed. This business is critical to us as a, as a, as a mining sector, it's critical to us as an economy, as a country. Our target of 3 million tons. We are looking now forward to the gun chat where in his office I expect to see either of his laptop or someone um, I know in the old days when I was a profession, professional in the professional home we used to have a chat like that. At least we can have a screen, you know, uh, showing that Mopani will deliver so much by a particular time towards the three years. Of KCM this much. Columbia. So that's the sort of thing that we're looking forward to. So today is uh, mobile, so we hope that um, we can now have that understanding that this government will be expecting specifics um, of what it's, it's mind, each business is able to do towards our vision of three many times. So um, if it's not in today's presentation, Minister, I'm sure you'll have communicated that information. Sooner or later, we expect that uh, to come through. And we're happy about the additional jobs that have been created. And we know when the business succeeds, business starts, opportunities exist for more uh, employment and more contribution to our treasured emblem. I see my colleagues from the finance here. It's very important that to connect things correctly. Right. If businesses succeed, we're happy treasure. Businesses don't succeed or underperform. We have challenges to deal with small issues. So I think this is why this is a partnership. And we all have a vested interest in letting these businesses succeed uh, and this partnership succeed. So we want to hear from you. I think we've said enough by way of opening remarks. 
Thank you very much. Once more, welcome and best wishes. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point in time, we are at a high level for the media to excuse the meeting. We obviously appreciate your presence here and the coverage of this meeting is very means a lot to us. So perhaps I can allow uh, through you, Mr. Rashi, uh, Mr. Sibali, just to give some high level impact of the transformation agenda in addition to Mr. Chesha Chama, who will also touch on the technological transformation and then at that point we will do the in-depth preparatory uh, presentation. Your Excellency, Commissioner, thank you. Good afternoon. It's always a pleasure to be here. And this is something I was sharing with my esteemed partner. Before we were talking about a paradigm shift, today we we're bringing you a quantum leap. It is something totally transformative with a team here that has been remarkable in the last eight months. I don't want to take away from the firm that we created, whether it's technology or operational efficiency. We call it a mind that represents everything beyond profits. It is not just profits. And this is a transformation we want to build upon. We echo the sentiments that you have in terms of reaching the three million. And we have a plan of action, process thinking that we want to lay out to the to yourself as well as to the uh, For that ado, with your permission, I would ask Shashan to give the initial presentation. Thank you. Good afternoon, Your Excellency, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Honorable Ministers and distinguished colleagues. Yes. Um, I'll just give opening remarks on our technology initiatives. Um, the main objective of our digital transformation is to put Zambia as a leader in innovation and in mining technology. And the second goal we have is to really unlock human potential. Right? So all our technology initiatives are not focused on automation, but much more on how to give the uh, folks on the ground the tools to succeed and be part, be part of our transformation journey. Thank you very much, Chad. I don't know if you want to touch on it. I know Ali I'm going to be trouble to say this, because I know you didn't want to talk about all this, but the capacity of Mopani, say two, two kilometers deep for you to communicate with miners you know, within that space. Maybe comment on that before we give a little surprise in the presence of the media. Okay, sure. So one of the main uh, initiatives that we have that we're working on is to extend connectivity to the mine site. We have commenced over 50 kilometers of network expansion to a point where you can have a video call right from the surface to the ground mine and see, get a real time view of what's going on. Um, our objective is to connect them. So, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. We have the miners at Mopani Koko Mine, two kilometers deep, who are live on this video call, who are greeting the president as we speak. Um, this is part of the transformation we are putting in place. Maybe a comment of, first of all, maybe if you can greet the president, colleagues. Hello.
and then we'll carry on the presentation. We look forward to catching up with you out uh, by the veranda. Thank you very much.